<laughs> My favorite show when I was little was Dora, and there's a monkey, and Neil's favorite show was Creators. And there's a monkey in there. The main character. And, and, and Lucas' and show was Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol which. Had a monkey in it. Yeah. Did it have a monkey? It was. I think like the bone. Mm -hmm. I think the bone lady had it. It was a Bobo monkey from Fresh Beat Band. Oh, Fresh Beat Band. Fresh Beat Band of Spies had monkey. Yeah. Yesterday, we made it to the town of La Linea in Spain, which is just across Gibraltar, just north of Gibraltar. And Gibraltar, as you may know, is owned by the United Kingdom. So there actually is a border crossing here because the United Kingdom is not in the Schengen zone. So there is passport control. And there's a marina right here where we slept at last night for 12, 50 euros a night. Has water, has a dump station, but no other facilities to speak of. No electricity, no showers, no bathrooms. But we pay to stay here because we're walking over the Gibraltar today. So we want to be here for security reasons. We want to make sure that our van is safe while we're out and walking around. And that's why we pay to be here. It's good for 24 hours, so we can go in the town in Gibraltar today. Our plan is to go up on the rock. I don't know how we're gonna get up there, either with a taxi or a, or the cable car. We'll see what the differences are in price. And hopefully, we'll get to uh, see the wild monkeys that live up there. How about airplane that's taking off? Yeah, they just keep driving they must take off in another spot because the last one did the same thing and turn around and just drove this way so this right here is the airport the Gibraltar Airport and we're parked right next to it and in fact the border office is right here you pass the passport control you walk past it they check your documents and then you have to wait at kind of a stoplight or stop sign or something so you can walk across the runway because you have to go across the airport to get into town which is very interesting so we'll see how that goes yesterday we actually got here fairly early in the day our purpose to come down here is to figure out all the logistics for getting on a ferry to Morocco which our current plan is to go there tomorrow I guess it kind of depends how long the process takes if we can get on a ferry or not because we don't have tickets yet and we don't have all of our documents we're gonna go to this guy who sells ferry tickets tomorrow that a lot of people use they will uh, provide you with all the documentation and hopefully help help us fill out the paperwork I'm not sure exactly how easy or complicated it would be we'll find out so that's why we don't know if we'll be able to get on a ferry tomorrow but we hope we will after we go visit Gibraltar today we'll come back here and then we'll go but yesterday we came here fairly early to do that, to do some research. And we're trying to fill up our propane tank, which we haven't filled in a couple months. And we know from just hearing and talking to a bunch of people that filling up propane is really difficult, if not impossible, in Morocco. So we have a little portable stove and we bought some little small canisters of butane to use in a pinch. But what we really want is to be able to fill our propane tank. And we did find somebody after talking to the marina here. Unfortunately, this guy was an hour north. So yesterday we had to drive back up an hour, an hour north to the town of Marbella and found this guy, this Belgian guy, who's been in the area for 40 years. He had a way to fill international propane tanks of all types, so United States included. So we are able to do that, which is pretty cool. Now we don't have to worry about our propane running dry while we're down there. It usually lasts us about two to three months, depending on the amount of use and how much cooking we do. Lately, we've been cooking a lot. We eat probably 90% of all of our meals in the van that we cook. I think it was pretty low, even though, you know, it was a relatively short amount of time for us. We've had our tank last as long as like three months with still some to spare before we filled it. But we won't be in Morocco that long, so even if we cook every day, we'll still be fine. And the plan is when we come back to Spain, maybe we'll go back to the same guy and have him top it off again. But we did buy this little adapter from him 
it was kind of a ripoff. It was like a little brass adapter that basically adapts from the local camping gas bottles to the US uh, bottle. So we can use a, a smaller, about half size camping gas butane bottle for our stove. He wanted 35 euros for it and then 17 euros for the little little adapter that goes on the top of the gas bottle. So we paid something like 52 euros for these two little metal adapters. Like I said, kind of a rip off, but at the same time, he's not selling those to a lot of people. It's a pretty low demand for people with American bottles here in Europe. I think it mostly deals with cruisers and boats. So for us to be in a camper van needing it, you know, it's a, yeah, we had to drive out to go find it. But I paid it, you know, just as a, a backup to be assured that if we run out of propane, we can just go buy a local bottle and still be able to cook. It's the shape of a heart from some kind of seaweed. Seaweed heart. Gibraltar by foot right there. I think a lot of people work in Gibraltar that live in both Morocco and Spain. So this parking lot is basically where people can park their Spanish plated car and then walk across the border for work. So they don't have to deal with going through customs every day with their vehicle. It's much easier to walk across. And from what we understand, Gibraltar is uh, kind of not as heavily regulated for like industrial construction and heavy machine and heavy polluting type machinery. So the air quality is kind of bad and a lot of industries have set up shop there. So we'll see how it looks when we get in there. Our friends that are from the UK that have lived in the US for many, many years and now moved to Spain told us that when they were there, which I think maybe a year or two years ago, says that it reminds them of a, a town in the UK from the 70s, which I don't know what a town in the UK in the 70s looks like. I guess I'm about to find out. This is all the cars waiting to cross into the border of Gibraltar. McDonald's and Burger King right across the street. Another thing about Gibraltar is that being in the UK, they use the sterling pounds for their currency. So we have none of that. We gotta get some. And also speak English, as you would imagine. We're in. Right away, we got a classic red English phone booth. Well, just right here at the border, there's a lot of vehicles, so it is pretty smoggy. All the car exhaust and stuff. We're already approached by one taxi tour guide that's offering to take us up to the rock and do the cave tours, do the various tour stops for 20, I'm guessing it was 20 pounds per person or 20 euros, I'm not sure. But we've opted to walk around first just to see what's up. And this is the whole thing, it's not real big. Uh, we're over here. No, we have to cross this uh, runway still. Okay, so we're still over here. Yeah. We're still at the airport basically. We're gonna cross the runway and then we'll be in the town. Yeah. And then I think the cable car is over here. middle station oh yeah there's a cable car over here too on this side so we're gonna walk to the cable car here's the airport runway that you got to walk across right now it's green light so we're gonna go for it no stopping for cars presumably for people too let's go no stopping you ever walked on a runway before Mila Don't get run over by an airplane. Oh my God. You guys need to stay on this side. 
Come on. I'm not going to yell at you and arrest you. Put you in an airport jail. Oh, airport jail? Damn. Look at this airplane. Damn. Well, it's the best airplane I've ever seen and the smallest. I'm seeing what our friends mean by this is kind of UK in the 70s. Just look at these buildings. They're probably about 40 years old, 50 years old, and never been updated. But perhaps there's no reason to. They still look like they're in a good condition. It's a pretty crowded space. There's not a lot of parking. There's a lot of cars driving around. So it would not have been advisable for us to take our own car here. I just don't even know where we would even park. But it's possible that, you know, the farther in to Gibraltar we go, we'll be able to find places where that's suitable. But for now, I'm glad that we walked across and didn't drive the van here. We've been approached by at least three different taxi people wanting to drive us up to the rock. I guess that's their job, but you know, we like to walk. What can I say? And I know that the cable car is probably more expensive, but we want to at least walk over there and maybe find a, find a taxi to take us from there if it's cheaper. So they're fed. That means they're not even that wild. <laughs> I mean, bitten. Oh, bitten is different than eating. <laughs> Same thing. There's a statue in there. <laughs> and I scared me. You mean I got scared of the statue? <laughs> oh my god, that is really creepy. Is it a real person? No. But it is full size, really creepy person. Statue. Yeah, I told her to look at it. She saw it. She screamed right away. I looked at it, I got scared to eat too, so I wanted to be able to look at it. All right, so we're almost to the cable car station. And from what I can see right now, the cable car definitely is gonna cost more. I think it's like 20 to 30 pounds or euros to ride the cable car. And then we can get a small minivan to drive us up, maybe stop in a few places for about, between 80 to 100, which still cheaper, but both are expensive. Not sure what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna compare a few different ways and see what we do from there. We started from here at the border crossing and walked all the way over through Main Street, and now we're here, right by the cable car station. Okay, there's the prices for the cable car. It's actually way cheaper. Cable car prices are 14 pounds one way for anybody 13 or older. And then 16 pounds if you want to go both ways, up and down. Kids, 5 to 12 is 7. Either one way or both ways, same price. And... No dogs, student price, senior citizen price, kids four and under are free. Are we going to ride both ways? Oh, downhill though. Okay, we'll ride both ways. Yeah, so all the vans that are along the way, we encounter one right at the border. He lied about the price. And the guy, two of the guys down there lied about the price because the farther they are away from the cable car, the more willing they are to lie to you because you can't walk all the way down to prove that they're wrong, which 
they will all lie because it's actually half the price of what they said it was going to be. And here, outside. there are actually vans right outside. You can probably get the best price to ride on vans if you don't want to take the cable car up and you want to be able to drive up and down and maybe make some stops. The cable car is cool, I think. And in fact, I think this cable car is probably cheaper than one in Palm Springs. But the Palm Springs ones is way longer, I think, and it goes up in more elevation. But we're going to ride the cable car because I'll be able to get some cool videos for you guys going up there. All right, cable car tickets purchased both ways. Turned out to be 53 pounds, which is almost half of what it would have cost to take a car. And I think we can spend more time up there. Oh my God, imagine riding this up on a super windy day. Breathing in my face more. Just like, was, was my labor breathing? Look at it. looks cool. Look, I thought, I thought you liked it. You said it was dangerous it's not and you scary. liked it. Because it's dangerous and it's I like it. It's not that scary. Because it is dangerous. There's the marina where we can see our car almost. I don't. Oh, wait, I see the marina. We're all very scared. Don't hyperventilate. You're gonna pass out. It's not scary, Daddy. I know it's not scary. It's not scary. It's scary. Well, it's a good thing we didn't walk because it's a long way. <laughs> A little chillier. Should have brought a jacket. Okay, they're macogs right away. Oh my god, this guy is huge. Oh no. Oh no. There goes somebody's jacket. Oh no. <laughs> that was a distraction. You know the ones that are waiting here at the cable car terminal are the most aggressive. Well that took no time for somebody to get attacked by a monkey. I mean, not attacked, but they had their backpack unzipped, jacket taken out, but no food in there. Oh, so she, the monkey let it go. Aggressive. Oh my god, there's a monkey right there. Little guys. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> so scary. Look at the baby. Baby, it's so scary. Okay, they're looking to see if you have backpacks. So we have no backpacks, buddy. Hey. I know, trying to see if you have stuff on your feet. Look at come here. Get out of his way. Take his camera. Ah. This one got a backpack. Now they're now they're fighting over it.
This guy's really aggressive. No, this little one. The baby's very aggressive. All right, there's the rock. That's the uh, east side of the rock. The monkeys are scary. They're so cute. <laughs> Okay, this is far more intense than we thought it was going to be. This was a bad idea. Let's what? go! This was a real bad idea. <laughs> There's like four macaques over here. Well, look at them. They're like the and they're just are attacking everybody. Yeah, because they're too close. They have a, they have a bag and they want to see what's inside, but... And everybody is, They feel threatened, probably. And all these people... <laughs> Just stay far away from them and you'll be good. I see poop on the ground. Oh, the baby monkey's down there ripping up paper. Where? We got a big guy right here. Oh, he's about to go down to do something. He's gonna go behind somebody and snatch their bag. I don't think we were quite prepared for how close and how aggressive these guys are before we come up here. But yeah, they just come right up to you and start unzipping bags and taking stuff out of them. This guy's, this guy's doing some kind of dance. Oh. <laughs> the little one likes to mess with monkeys and people. All right, let's go in here. I'm still waiting for you to say Georgie Sunny. <laughs> This is the place to watch people get their back stolen, right here. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh. Oh, right. that guy got scared. All right, let's see what happens with these when these new people get out. There's gonna be the monkey. There's gonna be mass comedy right now. The monkeys are inside. Well, then they know more people are coming. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see who gets their bag ripped off. <laughs> The ones that are the most excited is going to get super close. And why, are they, why are they eating okay. the baby? Oh. Why are they killing him? What's yeah, they're, happening? They're the giving him nuggies to the head. What's a nuggie? This is a nuggie. Oh, the baby's still... Oh, they're plucking his fur. Yeah, they're probably eating the bugs off of each other. Yeah. Oh, this, that person came right, Here we go, here we go. Here, oh here goes some backstabbing. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> He's over here. What do you think, Ava? Hmm. What do you think of the monkeys? Awesome. And you? Fantastical. What about Mila? Horrible. 
She's fearing for her life and so is Mama. Why don't you go ask her? Okay, let's go ask. <gasps> what do you think of the monkeys, Mila? The stressful trip I've ever had in my entire life. My stomach hurts so bad right now. Why? Because! Because the monkeys? You know why. Oh, what about you, Mama? This was the worst, still the worst idea we've had. I think this it's is the best a, idea. I think this is a perfect example of why we shouldn't feed wildlife and how they oh, look associate at Mama. Humans. Homeschool lesson. <laughs> humans mean food and they can just grab it whenever they want. So do yeah. not feed wildlife, please. Now we're going down and Luca's scared again. <laughs> is this still the best day ever? It doesn't sound Mila's like it's not scared. It is? Pretty scary going down. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's better, better going up. Better looking this way. <laughs> so officially we have mixed reviews of this cable car ride to go see the monkeys. Mixed reviews. Mommy and me are a team. Mommy? So here's a scaredy cat team. And me and Ava are the best day of Luca our lives too. team. Luca, Luca is cable car socks monkeys cool team. <laughs> Luca's on his own team. He's scared of the cable car. But me and Ava will go do it again. You're Luca will Luca will there. walk up next time. No. Mila, if we went, would you not go? No. No? I I I I I I I I I just do this at the bottom. Okay. So Luca will still go up. Maybe Luca's gonna join our team. Uh, I don't know. Well, we have to be around here. Uh, we'll see. There's probably other things to do. Okay. Right? We don't need to go see the monkeys again. You think these monkeys are from Morocco? Do you think monkeys in Morocco? There might be, but they're going to be like in the wilderness. Wait, there's going to be monkeys in Wild Morocco? Wild monkeys. Not in the cities. All right, so we're walking back now to the border. Go back into Spain. I would say it was totally worth it. And even though Milo was super scared, Marlene was glad that she did it, but she doesn't want to do it again. But definitely, if you guys are going to come, wear your backpack in the front and make sure maybe you use some kind of carabiners or maybe even a padlock to make sure that they can't unzip your backpack because that's what they'll do. Time and time again, we saw them jump on people. And then once they're on your back, people think it's cool because they're not really hurting you. They're just standing on your back. But what they're doing is they're unzipping your backpack while standing on your back. And people can't see that when it's on their back. So that is the only problem. And obviously you don't want to feed them. But that's what they're looking for. Most of the time people didn't have food in their bags. But there was one lady that did have like a bag of cookies. And they were toast. They were gone. So I would say the cable car is worth it. But if you want to see more, maybe taking the taxi will give you a few more stops you'll get to see like the cave I think there's a some kind of monument Hercules thing that you can see but if you're just here to see the monkeys then take the cable car by all means especially in the off season like it is right now and I would recommend just walking because walking from the border all the way to the bottom of the cable car stop is really not really far at all it's super easy to walk and there's tons and tons of shops and stuff that you walk past so lots of things to look at so you don't feel like you've walked a lot to go from the border all the way here minecraft trees now we're back at the airfield we're gonna walk across the runway and get back into Spain so we can start prepping for our trip over to Morocco via ferry tomorrow. Fighter jet. <laughs>